Back now on Ice Time TV and delighted to be joined by uh, Cardiff Devils uh, Spengler Cup winning player Blair Riley. And uh, Blair, you're, you're back in Cardiff now, but you've just been on uh, some adventure representing Team Canada at the Spengler Cup. We'll start from the beginning. How did that call up came about? When did you find out that you were a uh, part of the squad? Um, so I actually found out after um, the last home game before the Christmas break. So it was um, right after the game on the 22nd. Um, you know, I had. Uh, no idea beforehand, so I guess uh, not really an opportunity to kind of look forward to it or, or even get nervous for it. Um, I had a call from uh, Shane Doan, who was the uh, assistant general manager of, of the Canadian team. Uh, said they had a couple injuries and um, they were looking for some for some players to come in for cover. Um, didn't promise me anything. He just said, um, you know, we'll we'll try to get you in if if you're willing to accept and. Um, you know, depend how things go, maybe get into a game or two. And um, obviously, it was a big shock at the time. Um, yeah, it was a, a very exciting call to, to take. And I uh, had to quickly run in, uh, speak to Lordo, um, let him know what happened. And uh, to be honest, he was just as excited as, as I was, which was cool to see. Um, you know, teams don't necessarily uh, have to release their players. They're under no obligation to do that. Um, so for him to speak to Todd and uh, get his blessing as well, uh, it really meant the world to me. And um, you know, I, I owe a big thanks to them and, and the ownership group as well, because uh, uh, you know, without without them uh, allowing me to go, uh, I don't get to experience that. So, how pleasing was it for you? Uh professionally and personally as a late call-up to have got as much game time as you did particularly in the, in the semi-final yeah uh, kind of the way things went uh, and that's kind of what uh, Doan told me beforehand is um, it's a short tournament and injuries have always happened in the past so they they like to have extra guys and um, the way it worked out this year is a, a pretty bad flu bug went through the majority of the town um, so multiple guys on our team had it um, it got kind of passed through the families and, and some of the kids were mm -hmm. sick and it uh, yeah that was kind of a big reason why I ended up playing the semifinals two of our uh, top forwards couldn't play so um, yeah I got to step in and, and played a pretty regular shift for the two games uh, that I did get to play so uh, that kind of makes it even more special um, kind of feeling like you contributed to to the team and uh, you know it just makes you feel that much more part of things. It's a tournament you must have grown up watching uh, back at home every year. It's the, the oldest hockey tournament uh, in the world. And um, can you talk us through that feeling when you're on the ice at the end of the game and you're about to uh, accept your medal and you're about to get your hands on that trophy? Um, it must have been, have been a, an amazingly special moment for you and your country's colours. Yeah, um, obviously a great honour uh, to represent Canada as, as a hockey player. Uh, we take a lot of pride in... Uh, you know, not only uh, being Canadian hockey players, but just being Canadians in general. So um, uh, guys really try to uh, put on a good performance and, and represent the country as, as best we can. Um, the games were shown on, on TSN back home and uh, I had a lot of family and friends following along and uh, of course the Devil fans and really fans right across the Elite League that uh, send out congratulations and uh, well, wish, well wishes uh, throughout the week. So I was very thankful for that. Um, yeah, and I guess uh, it all happened pretty quick for that final game, um, especially because it was a noon, noon start time. It was basically just kind of wake up and, uh, you know, found out that I wasn't going to be playing. But uh, uh, if we had a lead, then myself and the two other scratches were going to be able to put the gear on. And uh, fortunately, the guys built a nice lead for us and uh, gave us plenty of time to, to get out there and enjoy the festivities. Well, Blair Friday, you've uh, already got one winner's medal in your pocket. For the Devils, all eyes now are on the running for the league and the Challenge Cup and the playoffs, of course. Eyes are on every single prize, I would imagine, in that locker room for yourself and the guys. Yeah, kind of when you get through uh, uh, December, um, you just want to be in the mix for everything. Um, you know, that Christmas schedule, the guys did a great job of uh, getting three out of four. Uh, it's a tough time of the year. Um, you, you play a lot of games in a short amount of time. Uh, and you're still trying to enjoy some some time with your families and uh, you know the, the guys that have some young kids and stuff they they still want to get some time away from the rink and uh, guys were able to do that and, and still kind of stay focused and, and do a tough job and um, now moving forward in January is 
the calendar flips. We're right where we want to be. Well, I shouldn't say right where we want to be, but we're in the mix for uh, the league title and obviously moving into the semifinals against Nottingham, which is going to be a great test for us. Um, you know, so the expectations are are very high from the fans and from the players. Uh, we expect a lot of ourselves, and um, we look forward to competing for all the trophies here at the end.